Now we all know the bigger gaming notebook brands out there, but did you know that Gigabyte also has gaming notebooks? No? Didn't think so. This is the Gigabyte P34W V5. Most of you know that Gigabyte makes motherboards, computer cases, GPUs, and PC peripherals. And maybe just a handful of you do know that Gigabyte does make gaming notebooks. This right here is Gigabyte's P34 14 inch gaming notebook. Starting with the exterior, the P34 has a very simplistic look with a matte finish aluminum top cover. It measures 340 by 239 by 20.9 millimeters. On the front of the notebook, we have LED status indicators. On the right hand side, we have one USB 3 port one SD card reader, another USB 3 port, HDMI port, and DC in. On the left, we have the Kensington lock, Ethernet port, VGA port, another USB 3 port, a USB Type-C port, and a headphone microphone combo port. On the bottom, there is quite a bit of ventilation, and there is an access door for the future if you want to upgrade your RAM. Opening up the P34, you're greeted with an IPS 2560 by 1440 screen. Just above the screen, you'll find the webcam, and the power button, you'll find dead center just above the keyboard. Speaking of the keyboard, it offers two levels of brightness for when you need some backlighting. The trackpad is separate from the left and right click buttons, and the P34 has two 1.5 watt speakers that provide an adequate loudness for music or videos. But on the inside of the simple looking 14 inch laptop is some great hardware. It's got an Intel Skylake i7-6700HQ quad core CPU, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a 3 gigabyte 970M, a Samsung 128 gig NVMe SSD with an additional one terabyte storage drive, and of course, it runs on Windows 10. Now for some benchmarks. With Unigen Heaven, the P34 scored a 1453 on ultra quality. In Cinebench, the OpenGL and CPU score was 95.74 frames per second and 681 CB respectively. For the NVMe SSD, sequential reads and writes in Crystal Dismark were 1438 megabytes per second and 687 megabytes per second. In Isma HDOK, sequential reads and writes were 1,251 megabytes per second and 669 megabytes per second, respectively. So some of you are sitting there thinking, the P34 isn't too bad, but you feel it's missing just a je ne sais quoi. Well, let me tell you about the Aorus X3 Plus. For those of you who don't know, Gigabyte is the parent company of Aorus. They're more of a gaming based company. So what's special about the Aorus X3 Plus? Well, Aorus claims that the X3 is the world's most powerful 13.9 inch laptop. So let's check it out. First off, all covers on the X3 are made out of aluminum. The outer shell is still simple, but it has a little bit more pizzazz than the P34. The X3 measures 330 by 265.5 by 22.9 millimeters, so it's just a little bit thicker. Up front, we have the LED status indicators. On the right, we have an SD card reader, two USB 3 ports, and the power button. On the back, we have the DC in and the Ethernet port with killer LAN. On the left side, there's a mini display port, HDMI 2.0 port, another USB 3 port, this time a separate microphone and headphone ports, and a USB Type-C port. Port. So, so far very similar to the P34. On the bottom we have a solid panel with no separate access panels. The power brick isn't too big either. Plus, bonus, the power brick has a 2.1 amp USB output for charging devices like your phone or tablet. Once the lid is open though, you can definitely see a difference. First up, the screen is a QHD plus 3200 by 1800 resolution. The keyboard is also backlit, but on the left you'll notice macro keys. The trackpad on the X3 is a single piece with integrated left and right click. Now spec wise, the X3 has the same CPU as the P34, it still has 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, but storage is now a standalone 512 gig Samsung NVMe SSD. The GTX 970 also gets a bump in size with double the VRAM at 6 gigs instead of 3 gigs. So what do these changes mean? Well, in Cinebench, the X3 scored an OpenGL 104.47 frames per second. In Unigen Heaven, the X3 scored a 1442, so not a big difference so far. For Crystal Dismark, sequential reads and writes were 1430 megabytes per second and 1428 megabytes per second respectively. In Is My Hard Drive OK, sequential reads and writes were 1208 megabytes per second and 1169 megabytes per second. So it's a big bump over the P34 in terms of write speeds. And some of you might be wondering, what are these two notebooks like in terms of everyday use? Well, first off, since both have higher end hardware, there's no lack in performance. The battery life for both models lasted at least seven hours for me, but of course your mileage may vary. 
but one thing I did notice is that the Gigabyte did get a lot louder when running games. This might be due to the fact that the AORS just has a better ventilation system for its internals when compared to the Gigabyte. But that's not to say that both laptops get super hot when gaming. In fact, we took our FLIR camera and took some pictures of the two running, and you can see that where your hands rest during gaming sessions do not get warm enough to become a problem. So overall, what does this all mean? Well, to put it simply, the P34 is a well-equipped laptop for the everyday average person who does a bit of gaming on the side, needs extra storage space, and is not looking for many bells and whistles. The X3, on the other hand, is meant for the person who games a lot, needs extra screen space, macro keys, and the cooling system to keep temperatures down, but sacrifices storage space for performance. But if you still have some trouble deciding which one to pick, the P34 comes with three months of XSplit Gamecaster and Broadcaster Premium membership, and the X3 comes with a one-year XSplit Gamecaster and Broadcaster Premium membership. I know which one I would get. So that wraps up for this video of the Gigabyte P34 and the AOS V3. If you want to check out either of these two notebooks shown here today, you can check the link in the description. But thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on the Twitterverse right over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. We'll see you later. Take this with me.